Meine Damen und Herren, herzlich willkommen bei Scania. Hello and welcome to the Scania world here in Hanover. Let's start by having a look at uh, some of our highlights. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Martin Lundstedt. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Thank you. First of all, also from my side, herzlichen willkommen bei Scania from my team here in Hanover. It's a great pleasure as always to be in Hanover and to meet all of you. A lot of people wanted to meet the, the Scania family and now the show really begins. Uh, of course, we are still living in an environment with a lot of economic and financial turmoil, but you're meeting a Scania that stands stronger and more healthier than ever, actually. We have had a very successful launch of Euro 6 behind us. We are presenting the broadest range of renewable fuels. We are continuously refining our application thinking by the use of our modular system, we are building on a service offering based on connectivity that has never been heard of in this industry. So we are standing strong, and we have the Scania culture and the Scania family and a team out there ready to do the extra mileage. As a matter of fact, our heritage is very strong. We have been, we are, and we will continue to be the leader in sustainable transport. And that is based on a close cooperation with all stakeholders in the value chain. Before coming into some of the highlights we have here today, I would like to give you just a short outlook on the market situation, what we see in the world, and I would like to start outside Europe. We are constantly growing our business outside Europe, and today, deliveries to regions in Latin America, Russia, Africa, Middle East, and Asia is counting for 60 to 65% of our vehicle deliveries meaning that Scania is and will even further be so a truly global company operating in all sectors and industries. We are gaining success of several reasons. One reason, of course, is that the logistical systems in all those markets are developing constantly, and then solutions that we can provide is gaining ground. It is like that, and it will continue to be like that. But also that we have successful introductions of our applications and that we are extending our service network given success. When it comes to Europe, even if that has shrinked in total terms, we are increasing our presence and we are gaining market share. For the third consecutive year now, we are gaining market share, thanks to a very strong offer, early offer Euro 6, renewable fuels, very strong network and competent people working close to our customers. I can mention UK, I can mention France, Switzerland, Austria, Italy, and of course here in Germany, you see what we're doing when it comes to the application strategy for each segment, each customer, each region. We also have a high flexibility, meaning that we, 
quickly can ad adapt our production. We are using a global product and production system that makes us unique, and we can also use this global production system to offset highs and lows in different regions. So we are geared, and we will continue to be geared for the future challenges we meet in, and also opportunities, urbanization, fuel security in different regions, the CO2 challenge, and to make sure the logistics is seen as the true engine of our society, because that is a fact. So before talking more about that, I would like to invite on stage my dear colleague, head of sales and marketing at Scania, Henrik Henriksson, to give you some highlights on this exhibition. So please, Henrik. Thank you. Okay, let me highlight some of the great vehicles that we have brought with us to Hannover. Um, around me you can see a selection of our range, but before we come into that, I want to connect to something Martin said. For us at Scania, the truck or the bus is a piece of production equipment. It's there to make money and create efficiency in a transport flow. That means that when we meet our customers, we focus on obtaining the best total operating economy. We talk about the cost and we talk about the revenue side. You can say like this, that we at Scania, our ultimate goal is to make our customers more profitable. And profitable customers, they are sustainable customers. And to become profitable and sustainable, here next to me, I have a great tool to get that started. And that's the brand new Scania Streamline 450 in an R cab, Euro 6 with SCR only. A fantastic piece of production equipment. This is not the first, it's not the second. This is the third generation of Euro 6 drivelines that we at Scania will launch. So we know our stuff. This is also the Streamline which we launched last spring. At that time, we were quite bold. We promised that we would deliver up to 8% reduced fuel consumption. We communicated that and we delivered on it. Now we have tweaked the streamline even further. And by optimizing the vehicle and the driveline, we are able to bring out another 3% of fuel efficiency. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that is significant. It goes straight down to the customer's bottom line, and it puts us, as Scania, at the top of the league when it comes to fuel efficiency for Euro 6 vehicles. Here, the next vehicle. Here you have it. Another fantastic piece of production equipment. The winner, the winner of the Green Truck Award 2014. The Scania Streamline G410. This is the vehicle that swept away the competition with an astonishing average fuel consumption of 23.3 liters per 100 kilometers. Today, we at Scania, we stand really strong in Europe. We are gaining market share, we're gaining volume, and we're doing it with great profitability. Why? We launched early when it comes to Euro 6. We have learned a lot. Secondly, we had a very successful launch when it comes to the streamline, fully focused on fuel efficiency and uptime. So moving forward, what can we do more? Yeah, we have today a range of 18 Euro 6 engines, 18. They range from 280 horsepower up to 730. It is from a seven liter engine for the buses up to the unique Scania V8 at 730 horsepower. This is, of course, important. But even more important is that we take this engine range and we combine it with a unique Scania modular system. We create vehicles that are tailor-made and optimized to give the best total operating economy for our customers. We also have, once again, and I think this is the third time I stand at and offer and saying this, we have the broadest range of engines running on alternative fuels, on renewable fuels. Here we have a unique position. We offer bioethanol, the biogas, and also biodiesel. 
This is the choice for the customer who really want to make a journey to become CO2 neutral. And one example of that I'm going to show you now, where one customer is benefiting from this product range towards their goal to become carbon neutral by the year of 2023. Coop hat im Jahr 2008 das ambitiöse Ziel gefasst, in 15 Jahren, nämlich bis zum Jahr 2023, CO2-neutral zu werden, und zwar in allen direkt beeinflussbaren Bereichen. Der Warentransport von Coop spielt hier eine erhebliche Rolle. Er macht nämlich 20 Prozent des gesamten co 2 ausstoßes von Coop aus. Da ist eben Biodiesel ein absolut großer Hebel, um das einzusetzen und eigentlich ohne große Auswirkungen auf das ganze Transportgefüge. Die Scania G450 Sattelzugmaschine, die setzen wir mit 100% Biodiesel ein seit letztem Jahr, seit Juli 2013 und sie wird eingesetzt für die Belieferung unserer Megastores. Der Fahrer ist natürlich ein ganz, ganz wichtiges Glied in dieser gesamten Käste. Er ist ja derjenige, der das Fahrzeug tagtäglich auf der Straße bewegt. Und je nachdem, wie er mit diesem Fahrzeug umgeht, ist das eben nachhaltiger oder weniger nachhaltig, ökologischer oder weniger ökologisch. Und darum ist der Chauffeur ein ganz, ganz wichtiges Glied. Da setzen wir auch viel in die Ausbildung. Wir machen sogenannte Eco-Drive-Schulungen, äh, technische Schulungen, Fahrzeugkenntnisse und so weiter. Also, wir haben ja gesagt, das Ziel von Coop ist, in allen direkt beeinflussbaren Bereichen bis im Jahr 2023 CO2-neutral zu werden. Und das ist eben auch die Motivation und das ist unser Grund, warum wir uns für solche Tests und solche Versuche auch zur Verfügung stellen, auch uns daran beteiligen, wie mit diesem G450 jetzt 100% Biodiesel. Wie ist die Zusammenarbeit mit einem, mit einem Anbieter? Wo bietet der technische Unterstützung? Zum Beispiel, was kann man tun, um Dieselverbräuche zu senken? Was dann wieder einen direkten Einfluss auf unsere CO2-Strategie hat? Für uns ist nicht das grüne Image unser Ziel, sondern das ist das Resultat unserer Anstrengungen. I think it's a great example of what we are talking about when we are talking about working together in the value chain. What Coop is saying that they have a clear target that they want to share with us. How do we become CO2 neutral to 2023 by working together transparent? Then it's about technology. It is about renewable fuels, in this case biodiesel. But it's also about services, training, maintenance and communication between people in the value chain. And that we are not discussing enough. So if we are to achieve the 60% reduction between 1990 and 2050 that the European has stated, can we do that? And we said, let's walk the talk ourselves, score now. We are a big buyer of transport. We have a small, tiny operation of trucks doing the routes between Södertälje in Sweden and the Netherlands, Svolle, our factories and we are the provider of, of equipment and services. So what can we achieve if we work in that triangle, the buyer, the transporter, and the solution provider of, of, of uh, truck solutions? Results are astonishing. Feeling rate, waiting time, driver training, renewable fuels, the right CO2-optimized vehicle, transparency trust, and you reduce it from 70 gram per, uh, CO2 per ton kilometer down to 25, 26. So of course we can make it if we move from a functional world to a flow world. And that is based on trust. And that is the new business model going forward. The base for that is connectivity. Scania took a strategic decision in 2011 that all our tracks shall be connected. And that is the reason why we by far 
have the highest penetration of connected drugs. No one is not even close because we said this is not an equipment. It is a communication tool between us, the driver, the owner, the stakeholders in the transport flow over the whole life cycle. Just one example you can see here, a short movie from ADAC Postbus, one of the leading providers of passenger, car tra uh, passenger transport in Germany. Look at this. že to funguje. Tak jak, jak Scania slibovala, tak to funguje, je to tak? Takže to mě nejvíc překvapilo, že to opravdu... Jmenuji se Miroslav Bouška, společnost Pedice Praha, SRO, a máme 10 vozů Scania Euro 6. První bylo při dotazu vlastně na obchodníka Scania, jaké by byly možnosti a rozhodl jsem se prostě jít cestou Euro 6 a bylo mi Kuluša nabídnutý, no. bylo mi vysvětleno ze strany obchodníka, co to obnáší a říkal jsem si, že to zkusím a uvidíme. No hlavně, v co se týče úspory nákladů, tam je to, úspora nákladů je dost značná, u některých relací, co jsme jezdili vlastně s Euro 3, tak je to do 4 litrů na 100 km ušetřeného paliva, což je dost finanční jako položka. A potom to je mýto, to je dost taky zásadní rozdíl. A Ecolution, jako, musí si to každý vyzkoušet, ale e, říkám, jako ten systém, tak jak byl prezentovaný, tak se prostě u nás se osvědčil. Je to možná i tím mým třeba přístupem, že mám o to zájem, když už to máme, že i jako se dotazuju u toho profit drivera, jak to funguje, ta komunikace. Byl jsem i sám se podívat u profit drivera, aby mi ukázal výsledky, něco mi k tomu řekl. Prostě z naší strany jsou jenom pozitiva. No. Já... Proto máme voziskány. Takže jako... I'm glad to see that my team here is so keen on showing some of our greatest innovations. So we took that example first, Ecolution by Scania. The reason why we wanted to show this film was actually that two years, uh, two years ago at IAA, we launched Ecolution by Scania. And it takes time, but what has happened since? Often we are launching new solutions. But today we have more than 4,000 contracts out there with customers, optimizing the vehicle, the maintenance, the coaching, the driver training, and the results are astonishing. The average fuel savings on our Recolution customers are more than 10%. And all of you knowing the truck business, that for a long haulage customer, for example, that means some 6,000 euros per year and per vehicle. And knowing also the margins in the transport business and the investments needed to make this true sustainable, this is a game changer, of course. And the base for that is connectivity. We are also building connectivity in other sense now. We have a steep curve when it comes to remote diagnostics together with our customers to better prepare maintenance activities, repair activities. We are doing insurance in financial services in a more optim optimal way to mention a few examples. So, that strategic decision of connectivity will continue to be an important part for us. Just another example then, we try it again, ADAC Postbus in Germany, what they have done with the connectivity opportunities, please. Ja, wir haben gemeinsam mit dem ADAC Mitte 2013 uns entschieden, ein Joint Venture zu gründen und ein neues Fernbusangebot, ein neues Mobilitätsangebot für Deutschland zu machen und äh, haben jetzt seit 1. März 60 Busse im Einsatz. Also generell ist die Stärke, eine hohe Qualität zu liefern, die höchste Qualität im Markt. 
Scania hatte uns ein sehr gutes Angebot gemacht. Einmal natürlich die Hardware, der Bus selber, äh, wo wir gesehen haben, für die Größe des Busses, für die technische Ausstattung des Busses, für die Sicherheitsaspekte und sicherheitsrelevanten Einrichtungen. Ähm, da hat Scania uns ein Angebot gemacht, was so auf dem Markt bis dato es nicht gab oder nicht angeboten worden ist. Also uns war es sehr wichtig, dass wir, ähm, wenn eine Störung bei einem Bus auftritt, dass sie schnellstmöglich behoben wird, damit unsere Fahrgäste, wenn das mal vorkommt, in den seltenen Fällen halt nicht lange warten müssen. Ähm, was Sie hier sehen, ist im Prinzip ähm, der Überblick. So können wir verfolgen, wo die Busse sind, wie wir die Busse verfolgen können, ob die Busse Verspätung haben etc. So kriegen wir halt einen kompletten Überblick was und wo die Route jedes einzelnen Busses wie der verläuft. Dafür ist es wichtig, dass Garnier eben 40 Servicepunkte in Deutschland hat, überall verteilt, die sich ganz schwerpunktmäßig um Busse kümmern, um eben diese zeitliche Anforderung auch sicherzustellen. Also wir sind extrem zufrieden mit Scania. Also von A bis Z, es sind sehr, sehr gute Verbindungen, Kommunikationsverbindungen. Wir sind in einem engen, sehr engen Dialog. Und so verbessern wir eigentlich zusammen das, das komplette Pro Produkt Scania Omni Express. Und äh, das ist, glaube ich, ein sehr, sehr fruchtbarer Prozess. Also die Erwartung ist jetzt für die Zukunft natürlich, dass das so weitergeht zum einen und dass wir halt bei unserem Netzaufbau der jetzt im nächsten Jahr ansteht, auch weiterhin sehr gut unterstützt werden von Scania. A third example, and what we're talking about is products that are performing, of course, the right tailor-made solution on the model, based on the model system, the service offering, but it goes about communication and trust. And the connectivity we have established together is also the base for that trust and really work with continuous improvements. Now we saw a passion, uh, or, a, or a bus example, bus and coach example, and on that note also, Henrik, what do we have as news when it comes to the bus and coach side here in Hanover? Yeah, uh, we have uh, the broadest range ever we've had here at uh, Hanover when it comes to the buses and coaches. And um, as I said before, No one beats Scania when it comes to renewable fuels. And one example how we have extended our range is a new member of the city-wide family, which is the articulated 18.1 meter buses, uh, both in low entry and in uh, low floor. And they can come now with gas, running both on CNG and on biogas. But the real star of the attraction here today when it comes to city buses is behind all these beautiful people on the left-hand side, uh, is the Scania Citywide in hybrid execution. This hybrid can run on 100% biodiesel, and the combination here of hybrid and biodiesel is really sort of bringing us down to CO2 levels that has never been heard of before. It's also a citywide execution in low entry. Low entry means that this vehicle is suitable both when it comes to dense city traffic in the city centers, but also in suburban areas, where you drive sometimes up to 100 kilometers per hour. And there is a misconception in our industry that hybrids only work in dense city traffic, and that is wrong. If you look at this graph, you can see that if you combine the vehicle suitable like this for low entry, both city and suburban traffic, you can actually reach a much better payoff on the hybridization system. You go from seven years in pure city traffic down to five years payoff in a combination of city and suburban. And that includes replacement of the batteries during the lifespan of the vehicle. And then, ladies and gentlemen, then we start talking about that the hybrids can stand on their own merits. Because if you're down to five years in payoff, then it starts to make sense. We are now geared with a broad range for further growth on the bus side, both when it comes to Europe and when it comes to the global market, Martin. So um, 
rock and roll. I, I always feel that, uh, Henrik, when you start to talk about buses as the old, uh, sales manager globally for, for buses and the importance of that also when you're in South Africa, always, always going alive when you talk about buses. We need that. And the bus business needs that, of course, that passion. Uh, what is interesting also when we talk about this type of continuous improvement together with the customers is really that we can use that also together in the communication versus the transport buyers. Uh, just an example on that note, uh, Grupo CC in, in Spain, one of the most advanced automotive transporter companies in Europe actually, uh, I looked into their homepage. I don't know if I can get that slide here, but uh, I was really impressed that they are actually also using the, the, the um, progress we are making together by uh, working in collusion uh, by Scania. And that is more fun. It is more fun to win together actually. Because then you're not dealing with the last percentage when it comes to the purchasing price, whatever, but really take out the waste. And everyone is the winner. And the best case here is from 32 to 28 liter per 100 kilometers, but it's the same in CO2. That is sustainability for real. So I think, as we have said, you know Backman Turner Overdrive, that was an old rock and roll group. They used to sing, you ain't seen nothing yet. I think we have seen a lot here. We can do a lot here and now. But we will continue to work with the technology, hybridization, electrification, renewable fuels, when it makes sense. It should stand on its own sustainable merits, financially, environmentally, and socially viable. We, we are seeing that it works by working together. For Scania, another very important event also, we are fully now uh, owned company by Volkswagen, give us further resources when it comes to research development and the strength being combined in the group and at the same time conserving a strong brand. We have had Volkswagen since our main owner since 2000, fully supportive of the Scania strategy and also during this week we announced a fruitful cooperation on future gearboxes where we need to join forces for all the different applications that we have discussed here. Scania we are standing strong. We have a platform for growth. We have been discussing the products, the widest Euro 6 range, renewable fuels, and application thinking based on modularity that is unique in our business. Flexibility, a service model offering based on connectivity, a penetration rate never heard of. Internet of Things is here, ladies and gentlemen. It is here and now, and our customers is using it. It's not a dream. But you need to be pragmatic, you need to be close. We have a network that is more dense than ever, and we are continuing to invest to be really close. But most important of all, and that makes me always, you know, emotional, the people of Scania. I meet hundreds of customers every year, Five minutes, five hours, success, rooms for improvement. But one thing always in common, the people. Be close, be horizontal, have fun together, work hard, be pleased but never satisfied. That is Scania. And we will continue to be so and we will to continue to have the dialogue and we love to be challenged. And I, when I see all my colleagues here, I feel it's my team. Thanks a lot. Thank you, uh, Martin. And by that, we conclude uh, this press conference. We are, of course, available for you on all the Scania colleagues. So let us talk how we can reduce the fuel consumption even further for our customers or the waste in the logistical system, or why not discuss the fantastic summer we had in Sweden this year. The Scania team wishes you a pleasant stay at our stand and at IAA in Hannover. Thanks for coming.